growing up on Kauai, surfing was great. You know, like being a Grom, we surfed all kinds of great waves, surrounded by the ocean, jungle, and it was just a beautiful way to start my life surfing the world and as a professional surfer. You know, for me, my goal was to be able to be a world-class surfer and to be the best barrel rider and to be able to drop in and surf pipeline, to tow into waves, you know, experience these things that everybody says are kind of the impossible as a female surfer. Rochelle is somebody that like really inspired me because you know she was like the only Hawaiian chick that was on the tour when I was growing up. You know, I totally looked up to her and she's one of the most amazing women barrel riders on the on the planet. In 2007, uh, after 17 years of being a professional surfer on the ASP World Tour, I retired and decided that I want to get back into wellness. Uh, it was something that I really enjoyed to do and was natural. It was my passion. As much as I had this desire for competing and wanted to be a world champion, I felt like I was like melting in my jersey when I was like walking down the beach and going out for a heat. I'm like, oh, this is so nerve wracking. And so, you know, I found that yoga just really helped me. It helped me focus. It helped me calm the adrenaline in me and bring it to a place of power that I could draw from when I needed it. And that began my process of wanting to become a massage therapist and learn how to heal the body. And then, you know, my next door neighbor, who's a yoga teacher, I saw her stretching in the yard one day and I thought, yeah, what is this? What's she doing? And I went and talked to her and she showed me how to breathe, where my breath came from, how to move with the breath, and to release uh, any pain and blocks, energy blocks that were in my body. And I thought, well, I wanna know how to do this because I wanna feel good the rest of my life. So I became a massage therapist, I became a yoga teacher because I wanted to feel good first and then share it with people. Hands up. Grab hold of those clouds and draw them into you. For me, like there's there's a synchronicity, there's a dance, there's a flow in surfing and yoga. It's, you know, there's a flow that people are familiar with that, you know, circle eight, kind of patterning the, the infinite. And in surfing, you draw your lines like that. You draw lines that are flowing and infinite and they weave together. The ocean weaves together. It has a way of moving and it turns itself and then when it reaches the shore, it goes back and it comes from the atmosphere and it comes down and then it comes into the ocean and then it all does this. And that's what we do in our bodies and that's how we do yoga, how we feel yoga, how we are yoga. It's tuning into how to flow and move with your body, not force the body to do something that's unnatural, but move with the body. People come to Hawaii, they're, they typically come to enjoy the rainbows and the turtles and the beautiful ocean, uh, hula dancing, music, all the cultural uh, dynamics of the Hawaiian islands and the, and the Hawaiian culture. Recently, there's been a lot more of wellness and reasons to come here to restore and to heal the body. What I, I do is offer wellness packages and gather facilitators and a team of us that work together and share different modalities um, and offer that to people that are visiting, offer that to the locals and to surfers, whether they're first time or they are the best in the world. And, and I'm here to share that. Whether it's what you eat, whether it's how you live, how you practice your livelihood, how you interact with people, it's all part of it. And um, it's our important thing to learn as humans on this earth uh, is to get along in harmony with each other, with ourselves, and with this planet.